Hi, I'm Sue. And I'm Mel, and this is Manifesting with Mel and Sue. Tonight, we are going to be talking about, can you manifest health and healing? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, let's talk about it. I think this, for me, healing, especially other people, is mm -hmm. one of the easiest things to manifest because... I don't obsess over it. So like I will just decide something um, about someone and then I let it go. And I'm just like grateful that they're, they're better and they're healed. And then, um, and then they are. So I love manifesting health. I think that like anything that you can do for someone else um, manifesting is, uh, is a great use Mm, of, for of sure. that skill. Yeah, absolutely. And this actually, we came about this topic um, because a very good friend of mine, shout out to my friend Dodo, um, she has been working with, um, with me a little bit um, privately in learning about the law of assumption and affirming for her health. And she has been doing a phenomenal job because she's been persisting in her affirmations and learning to not repeat the old story. And so um, we thought that this would be a great video to have to share. Like, can you? Can you manifest health and healing? And you absolutely can. Absolutely. Um, I'm reading a book right now that I haven't talked about on here yet because it's very much related to manifesting, but it's a, in a very heavy, heavily religious context. And it's called The Course in Miracles. And the primary um, focus of the book is on healing. Um, basically, the idea is that we are all like, as um, children of God, we are all um, already perfect and whole and healthy. And it's our minds that create disease, um, which is kind of a um, a, a tricky topic if you think about it, like how am I creating my illness? Um, but if you think about like we're manifesting everything in our lives. Um, and so once you are aware of that, you can take control and you can take control of your health and decide that you are healthy. Um, you know, it's something that I've ever since I got into health and fitness, have seen myself as a healthy person. I don't get sick very often. You know, I, that's, that's an assumption that I have. Cancer doesn't grow in my body. Like that's a belief that I have. Like it just can't happen um, because I said so. Um, even when I actually did catch COVID during the pandemic, I had no symptoms. I was fine. I was running every day. Um, I just, I was um, stuck in my apartment for a week because I had COVID and couldn't go outside um, and socialize with people. But I had so much energy, I reorganized and cleaned my entire apartment. So, I was just like, thinking about that this afternoon, too. Yeah, I was. I yeah. was thinking about that exact thing. Yeah. That's too funny. So, like, if you decide that you're healthy, then you're going to be healthy. Exactly. Um, I think a little side note on what you're talking about with disease, um, a man by the name of Bob Proctor, who was a law of attraction coach, for many, many, many years before he recently passed, um, he would always say the word dis disease is dis-ease. Yeah. So it's dis-ease in your body. And so um, I think that even subconsciously, if we're thinking about dis-ease, then we can create that. You know, if we're always stressed and unhappy and miserable or, um, you know, thinking that we're run down and whatnot, then we are going to create those illnesses because subconsciously we keep putting ourselves in that state. Yeah. And so, and I'm, I'm guilty of that. I've done it before. And then when you started teaching me about um, the aspect of health and, and healing with manifesting and I started being aware of it and I started being aware of what I was thinking, what I was believing. And, you know, out of habit, I would always say, oh, I'm so exhausted. I'm so run down. And and I was, I was always exhausted. I was always feeling run down. I was, um, you know, I have a toddler who's in daycare and I was like, oh, you know, it's like a Petri dish. People would say to me, oh yeah, daycare is like a Petri dish. You're always getting sick. You're going to have the best immune system. And so I started believing that I had to get sick all the time to have a great immune system. And I was like, oh, this isn't working for me. <laughs> But the funny thing is, is I've had the belief right along that I, cause I've been exposed to COVID more times than I could even shake a stick at or count. 
and I've never knownly had it, I, you know, so unless I was asymptomatic, but I, you know, anybody that I've known that's had it mm-hmm. or, um, if I was considered a direct contact or a close contact, I would always test and it was always negative. And so I just have the belief that I cannot get COVID, you know, like that magical unicorn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I so. remember you um, when I was um, quarantined here, dropping groceries off at my door and just leaving them on the other side of the door. And I'm just like, I love you because <laughs> um, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so it's it's great where you can, if you decide, you take ownership of your health and you decide that that's how you are. Um, it it I feel like the hardest part of that is dealing with the 3D. If you mm. are dealing with an illness. Um, I, I had an issue earlier this week, which wasn't, um, a sickness, but, um, an issue that caused me to not feel well. Um, I don't want to get too specific because it's really personal, but I was in a lot of pain and I did a lot of praying and, um, I did get better, thankfully. Um, but reading A Course in Miracles actually helped with that because like, so much of it was like focused on healing. So I just focused on the fact that I was feeling better and thanking God um, for that. And I think that if you are struggling um, with your health, if you can give it to God and have faith in God or yourself or your, you know, your higher power, the universe, whatever you believe, um, just, just trust that you're going to be okay. Exactly. And I think um, that that's so true that when we are sick, when you are really just feeling lousy it's hard to not want to complain and to not be miserable right and I had to teach myself that even um I think it was the last October and then again earlier this year I had strep and I don't know what it was this year it was awful I've had it before and it wasn't that bad but this time it really knocked me down and while I was not feeling well I kept saying how miserable I was and I was like no you need to stop yeah. and so I kept going I feel great. I love how healthy I am. And even though I wasn't, it wasn't reflecting in my 3d immediately. Um, I did within a couple of days start noticing a significant improvement. And it's not to say like, if you're not feeling well, don't ignore it. Like you need to go to the doctor and get antibiotics. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Go, you know, you still have to live in the 3d. You still have to function. You still have to make sure that things are being taken care of while what you're manifesting is catching up to your current reality. So don't just be like, oh, I'm going to go die in a hole over here until I can manifest feeling better. Yeah. There's that actually sucks. that's a, there's actually a point in A Course in Miracles where they talk about that, how you should take advantage of medicines, even though like technically they only work because you believe that they'll work, um, mm-hmm. they're still going to work. Yes. Right. So, so take advantage of that so that you can feel better and really focus on health and the fact that you are feeling better and creating more of that feeling. Exactly. You get what you focus on. So yes. if you're dwelling on the fact that you don't feel good, um, you're going to get more of not feeling good. So, yeah. so try to be grateful for your health, what you do have of your health, um, and focus on health. It's like anything else. You get what you focus on. So as much as it, hurts to be in pain and it sucks to not feel well if you while you're feeling that way use your words to affirm um for better things and to focus on health and focus on the things that you are going to do when you are feeling better imagine yourself doing those things imagine yourself feeling better imagine yourself saying thank you god that Mm -hmm. finally i can um i can get up and i can go for a run again or um, or whatever it, it may be in your case. Exactly. So, yeah. I think a really good point too is, um, and this comes out of The Secret, if you've um, read the book or even watched the movie, um, there's a man, I cannot remember his name, it's something Morrison, I believe, okay. and he's called The Miracle Man uh, for good reason because he was um, flying in a plane and it crashed and he literally, I think he broke pretty much every bone in his body, his windpipe was crushed, everything, and he was laying in a hospital um, he had to be incubated. It, like, is that the right word? Incubated. Um, he needed a breathing tube. He, he couldn't do anything. And he told the nurses, like the only way he could communicate was, um, when they would point to a letter, he'd like blink. Like, I think, um, one blink was yes. And two was no, something like that. Like that was his only form of communication. And he had the realization of the only thing I have is my mind right now. It's all I need. That's all I have. And he, 
basically manifested recreating his entire body to work again. And he, he told the nurses, he communicated to them um, by, you know, having them choose letters for him. And he, they wrote out the message and he said, I will walk out of here by Christmas. And he did. Um, and so he was able to um, walk again. He can breathe on his own, you know, um, which would normally be considered impossible, even though we know nothing's impossible, mm -hmm. but our logical minds sometimes say otherwise. Mm -hmm. And so anything is possible. If you think you're having a tough day or you're feeling like really awful and that you just can't manifest health, like think about that story. Think about what, you know, he had to go through, um, 24 seven. That's what he had to focus on. And he, he manifested it. He yeah. created it. Go to the end. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. And that was what he did. Yeah. yeah. And it's really important to, um, to be able to create the life of your dreams, what you're looking for. I love it. I do too. Um, so I think that's it for health. If you have any questions or stories of your own, please drop them in the comments below and like, share, and subscribe, please. And don't forget, go out and manifest that dream life.